D&D 5e conditions suck. And yes, I am complaining about the system right before it is about to get a major rework. People need to hear my input, okay? Sup, Punions. Chris Punkin here with the new TTRPG advice for your games. Actually, it's not advice. It's just a rant. The advice is in the other videos. <laughs> there are 13 negative conditions in the condition section of the player's handbook. You can see them on screen. And while I think this is fine in terms of quantity, I have a big problem with the quality of those conditions. Conditions should be used to make fights more interesting. I mean, anything is better than just dealing damage back and forth. Conditions create interesting new dynamics and situations where dealing damage is not a primary priority because a good use of frightened condition may be more useful than dealing 50 points of damage or healing 50 points of damage. But the conditions we have simply suck and don't do a particularly good job at this. For starters, out of our 13 conditions, five involve incapacitation. Incapacitated, no duh, paralyzed, petrified, stunned, and unconscious. So these all do essentially the same thing. And a thing that I do not like. When I DM, my monsters will not afflict PCs with these conditions if I can avoid it. My evil wizards will not cast Hold Person to paralyze people, and my monks will not use Stunning Strike to... stun people. Monks are kinda on the nose with that one, by which I mean they hit you square in the face. The reason I avoid these conditions is because I believe they are simply not fun. My players come to play the game, and these conditions prevent that. Having to wait 10 minutes for your turn to come up is bad enough, but it then being skipped by a single bad die roll on a save against paralysis? That's really frustrating. I made that mistake once, and it has made me extremely cautious when using conditions like this. Triant Monk's Temple, the wizard of D&D YouTube, has made a video talking about how he will not use certain powerful spells as a DM, but would always choose them as a player simply because they are powerful, but not fun. If you're on the receiving end, at least. Link in the description. Wait. In the doobly-doo... I misread that as description somehow. <laughs> Close one. So five of our conditions are no good. But what about the other eight? Well, another five of our conditions impose disadvantage on attack rolls. Blinded, frightened, poisoned, prone, and restrained. Uh, I want my monsters to apply a condition. How original. A condition that opposes disadvantage on attack rolls. Daring today, are we? And yes, I am aware that they all have secondary effects, and I will admit that they are distinct enough from each other that they remain interesting, at least for a while. But I have two major problems still. Problem one. Imposing disadvantage on attack rolls basically hurts only the characters that make attack rolls, aka marshals. Spellcasters that force saving throws are completely unaffected. Talk about the martial caster divide. Tangent time with Pun King! Did you know that it was impossible to prevent a caster from casting raw? That means rules as written. There is no judo move a level 20 barbarian can pull on a level 1 wizard to stop them from making gestures or speaking magic words. The rules do not allow for such a thing. You can be like, Hey DM, I want to cover his mouth or, or grip his hands real tight so he cannot move his fingers. And the DM could be nice and allow it. But rules as written? Such an action does not exist. Except, like, bonk him till their lights go out, I guess. And that's so weird, too. I mean, the rules say casters need to be able to talk and move their hands. But even when the caster is grappled, there is nothing that the grappler can do to stop those things. Why put it in the rules if there is no way to interact with it? That's like adding gun rules to Monopoly and then not including a rule on how you can actually get a gun. Tangent. Problem two. The other problem is that these conditions do not stack. You cannot impose double disadvantage. You can only spice up combat with a condition that imposes disadvantage on attack rolls so many times before it starts tasting bland. But wait. 
there's three conditions left. Could these be the saviors of conditioned kind? Deafened, charmed, and grappled. Let's talk about deafened. My problem with the charm condition is that it is very much up to DM interpretation. Either it functions like a sanctuary spell that prevents the charmed character from harming one guy, or it is essentially mind control. In the first case, it's a fine condition, though not particularly exciting because it tends to end when the charmy is damaged. And in the second case, well, it's even worse than the five incapacitation brothers, wanted, dead, or incapacitated, as it does something worse than take a player's turn away. It takes their agency. Your players control one character in the game, you the DM control literally everything else. Let them keep their barbarian, man. Yes, I know his low wisdom is just so juicy, but you are God! Find something, anything else that isn't mind control. Old person, counter spell, modify memory, forget that spell. <laughs> that leaves grappled. I have no problem with grappled. <laughs> okay, actually I do. Players just punch through it. Like, a grappled fighter will just keep attacking. Heck, he'll be glad because some guy was stupid enough to position himself right in his face and make sure that he could not leave. This is early Christmas for the fighter. I'm not grappled here with you. You're grappled here with me! The condition simply doesn't do enough, in my opinion. Because a dead creature can't maintain a grapple, and being grappled doesn't impede the barbarian's ability to remove your seeds or whatever sort of intestines you have. Restrained, grapples older and cooler brother, is just a superior condition as it actually hinders the player's ability to do damage. Furthermore, I also like dynamic combat, by which I mean combat with a lot of movement. I remember a high-level Pathfinder one-shot where everyone moved into position on round one, and then the battle map remained unchanging for the rest of the combat, like not a single creature moved. Never again. Never again. So grapple does kind of stand in the way of dynamic combat in a sense. It literally tells you, no moving allowed. It's a challenge. However, despite all that, I still use grapple, because it does stack with most other conditions. I especially like the combination of grappled and prone. These two just have such nice synergy and even non-spellcasters can apply them. It feels like they were designed to complement each other and I just wanted to praise that because I've been very negative in this video. So what did we learn today, class? d, &D conditions are boring, unfun, and when it comes down to it, there's like three of them. Like, there was no reason to have the poison condition impose disadvantage on attack rolls. Like, why? So, how do we fix it? It's simple, really. We add more conditions. But who? could undertake such a monstrous task. Who in their right mind would dare... Okay, yeah, who am I kidding? It's going to be me. I, the great pun king, will fix the issue right away. Well, not right away. You have to... This channel has a new series. Pun King's Stew of Conditions. A series of shorts. Yes, there's shorts, but not the pants kind. Each introducing a new condition. Don't eat them all at once. Serve your players one at a time and see how it goes. Each video will give an example on how you might be afflicted by the new condition, what it does once you have it, and how you can remove it. Five of those should be out by the time this video goes up. Hope you enjoy those. Still don't have an outro. Just sort of sitting here. But but the video is over. You you may leave now. Or you you can stay. I, I don't know, maybe maybe I'll do something funny still. I don't know why I did that. My mind just... That, that was the funniest thing I could imagine right now. I, that just that just said a lot about me, doesn't it? Anyway, bye. <laughs>